In this video, I want to show you how to install VMware Workstation Player for free on your Windows 10 device. First, you need to check if virtualization is enabled on your Windows 10 PC. So to do this in Windows 10, right-click an empty space on the taskbar, choose Task Manager. If you have a minimalized view of Task Manager, click on More Details. Then click on Performance, select CPU and look under virtualization if it is enabled. As you see here, it is enabled. In case it is not enabled, I'm going to show you how to enable it in the BIOS. To do this, you need to restart your PC and go to your BIOS setup. Depending on the model of your PC, press the key that takes you to the BIOS setup. Here I have a Dell PC, so I pressed F12. Then go down to BIOS setup, press Enter and then go to a section called Virtualization Support. And this is an Intel PC. If it's an AMD PC, it will be different a little bit. So choose Virtualization and then click Enable Intel Virtualization Technology. And then the other two options also enable them. These two options let virtualization access the hardware directly. So once everything is enabled, save the changes and click on Exit. When the PC restarts, log back into Windows. And now, step two, let's download and install VMware Workstation Player. So open your web browser. Go to VMware.com. Hover over Downloads and choose Free Product Downloads. On the right, you have Workstation Player. Click on it. And here I have Windows 10 running, so I'm going to be downloading the Workstation Player for Windows 10. Click on Download Now. And the download will begin. It's a short download, so it should be fast. When the download finishes, go to the folder where the file was downloaded. And here you see the file that is downloaded. Double click on it to install it. So follow the instruction to install it. Click on Next. Accept the agreement. Click on Next. So here I'm going to select Enhanced Keyboard Driver. This option will force us to restart after installation. It's not a big deal. We wanted to check for updates. I don't want to join the VMware customer community and I want to create two shortcuts. Click on Next and now it will be installed. Once the installation finishes, just click on Finish. Forget about license because we are going to use the player version so we don't need the license. Just click on Finish. And now you'll be prompted to restart. So you need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So click on Yes. When the computer restarts, go to the search box in Windows 10 and type VMware. Select VMware Workstation 15 Player and click on it. And the first start, it will ask you for a license. So here, just make sure you're selecting Use VMware Workstation 15 Player for free for non-commercial use and click Continue. And this is the last time that it will ask you for this. And then click on Finish. When it starts, it may ask you for software updates. So you can just click Skip this version and it will not ask you again. So the next time you start it, let me show you. It will just start without asking you for any license. So here, of course, you can pin it to your taskbar if you want to access it quickly. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.